Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Anthony, uh, Anthony Windle. I'm part of uh, Team Buff on One UK uh, Elite Mountain Bike Team. Um, we're going to be racing heavily next season in uh, some of the larger 10, 24 hour endurance races. I'll be taking part in the Elite uh, British Mountain Bike Race Series field and I'll be going over the border up into Scotland and uh, competing in the Elite uh, SXC series. Just wanted to show you a bit of work in progress. Um, yeah, I'm uh, obviously going to be riding for On One um, next season, and uh, so is uh, my uh, well, two of my team partners, Gemma Sargent and uh, John Myber. They're going to be forming um, the trio, basically, and myself for uh, for Team Buff uh, On One UK. Uh, I went down to, uh, to Planet Extra On One. Um, headquarters today and uh, picked up uh, some uh, some of the lovely uh, 2012 uh, on one frames and uh, the race weapon of choice for the team is going to be the uh, the on one whip it it is just an all out aggressive cross country bike point and shoot and this will take you where you need to be um, and the main thing we're trying to achieve is speed um, yeah not having a full suspension bike you sacrifice a bit of traction here and there but uh, when it's all out and out racing in the cross country field I want something that's really snappy and as soon as I put power through those crank arms I'm wanting it to be shifting in one direction and that's forward um, so yeah we're going to look at the uh, at the frame it's around 1300 grams um, the on one whip it frame and uh, yeah full carbon frame uh, absolutely lovely lovely design and I don't know if my camera um, can pick up obviously the lo lovely contours of the frame because there's uh, some serious style and thought um, gone into this frame so okay starting with the uh, the steer tube the head the head tube part of the part of the frame um, a lot a lot of material up front here um, which is fantastic because it's giving maximum strength um, in this area here which is under a lot of pressure in a in a race um, the amount of terrain these bikes take um, you know we, we really need this and it's, and it's fantastic you know how they've, they've braced in here just putting an extra bit of material and just to give it that that key bit of uh, bit of strength another thing I really do like about the whippet is the um, is the crossbar it's uh, it's basically the a lot longer than most uh, conventional bikes you'll uh, you'll buy on the market and for me it's quite important that because it it's really putting yourself the rider in a very aggressive cross-country race position um, which I really like some people may not like it they may they may choose to uh, to go for a more relaxed uh, geometry but obviously the one thing we have uh, um, insight is, 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 is going fast and uh, to me that's been in the most uh, race position uh, I can adopt so yeah um, underneath obviously you have your um, the mountains here for the front and rear mech which is nicely tucked away um, which I like I like them here they're not under the frame they're not exposed to rocks they're not exposed to obviously a lot of mud which is flying and collecting in some of the uh, some of the race courses uh, we face around the uh, the UK um, and yeah nice 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 neat design there moving uh, moving down to the uh, to the rear the rear stays if you look here the carbon real thick um, molded carbon here uh, going to cross back so strong and real thick um, rear wheel stays Know, providing super super stiffness and one thing I do like about the uh, the on one whip it is uh, your wheel mounts to these nice little uh, milled and, uh, machined um, wheel and mech hangers uh, which is a really neat neat design because you can run this bike single speed which is just a case of getting a different uh, bracket uh, attachment then you can obviously uh, you can run it single speed 
but uh, this as well is providing the frame down in this area with a lot of extra strength and the thing I like about it is if you bend this it's just a case of replacing the uh, the nice little milled component rather than actually having to you know bin your frame and start afresh but yeah I'm just gonna uh, tilt the bike round so we can we can have a look a nice little detail here if you can see is uh, running from the 2011 bike um, they've brought the little whip it in there which is nice because they used to run it up by the steerer tube but uh, yeah nice little bit of design um, again if we can just pan the camera into uh, near the bottom bracket area here there is a lot of carbon um, really really strong and super super thick rear stays here which is making the bottom bracket area of the mountain bike super stiff which is very very important in a mountain bike it needs to be stiff here this is the business end this is where we're we we're creating the power and we don't want flex at all but the frame is so so strong in this area okay moving to the um to the mechs i'm choosing to uh to run an xt um high direct mount um and it'll be a top pull uh mech which you can run on here however there is just down here um, a lower direct mount and I've seen a lot of people running the uh, the SRAM XX um, which works fine with, uh, with this frame so yeah spot for choices there um, however if you do run a, um, a low direct mount uh, mech you can get a lovely little um, plate which comes with the 2012 frames which just tidies the little square area up there where the high direct mount uh, front mech would go okay another good thing is you've got your two your two bottle cages which is quite important when we're doing the uh, the length of your 10 hour races um, so yeah a lot of a lot of bikes now you don't tend to get the two water bottle holders now I think hydration is key so especially when you're doing any endurance races that's uh, that's fantastic i'm just going to uh, flip the bike over now have a real good look at the uh at the bottom bracket area so you get a really good uh, good feel here for the thickness we're in a bb92 press fit bottom bracket and the uh the frame thickness and stiffness here is absolutely phenomenal and no flex whatsoever we're choosing to run the uh the xt um very very nice um double we never use the triple um but the one thing i like about the uh, the nice xt the ratios um when you drop down a gear onto the uh the inner chain ring and then want to go back up onto the outer chain ring when i put the power down there isn't great jumps in the gearing so you can just keep the power really smooth um, which is very important uh, and will make your riding very consistent as well okay we'll uh we'll take a look now at the uh the seat posts um i've decided to uh to go with kindly again supplied by on one um i'm going to be using the uh the scandium uh, frm stm 10 uh, seat post this is absolutely ridiculously light i couldn't believe it when i got it out of the packaging how light the bike is um with this but yeah absolutely beautifully machined um and i'll be finishing that off with a physique post we're sponsored by physique um but yeah a really really nice bit of uh, bit of kit moving up to the uh to the headset we're just using on one's own um headset again very very uh very very good um and look nicely machined as well um and and also very 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 light um we're choosing for the uh the ritchie four axis um stem i'm running a 110 um millimeters uh, in length and i've reversed the stem just to to keep the uh, the angle very very flat 
I like to be as far, far over in, in a grunty race position uh, as possible. Then the bars, yeah, I've chose to use on one's own um, matte glossy black um, handlebars. Again, very, very light, just as light as the uh, the Richie World Cup bars. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be running them. And uh, the on one uh, lock on grips as well, which are uh, which are very good and also extremely uh, extremely light. Um, in relation to the uh, the braking system, again we're going to go um, XT XT shifters. Um, it's going to be XT throughout, um, really. Uh, and the main reason for that is uh, XTR, um, although it is very very good just like your SRAM XX. Um, I think the wear factor on the uh, the XTR, yeah, it seems to me to be a lot softer than the XT. So uh, I think you get uh, a lot more bang for your buck, so to speak, if you were to be buying them. Um, so yeah, that's what we're, uh, we're choosing to be using on the, uh, the running gear. Um, another lovely little bit of uh, detail here. Forgive the... Uh, hydraulic hose and they need to be cut to size obviously but yeah it, it literally comes from the brake and it's straight clean line right down the frame straight into the uh to the rear caliper there which is really really good and it's also away from uh, from rocks which uh, they obviously take quite a lot of hammer um so yeah really like that design very clean simple lines um, then moving to the uh, to the business end, the uh, the uh, the Sid hundred mil uh, World Cup uh, forks. These forks, without doubt, are the best forks uh, I've ever used. Um, I used to run them on my white a few years back. Um, then I went to a Cannondale, was running a lefty, which was also a good fork. But to me, you cannot beat the Sid World Cup forks. They are superb. Uh, expensive, but uh, but very, very worth uh, every penny. Um, they've got a beautiful carbon um, crown steerer. Um, and if you can look, most forks just have a, have a hole, which usually tends to block up with crud up there. But it's just a beautiful one piece um, into, the, uh, into the steerer tube. Um, Yeah, very, very light um, as well. They do have a lockout uh, lever here, which you can just turn to put it to full lockout when you're climbing, you need to put the power down, and then back to, uh, to obviously your suspension working. And then you've got your compression, your rebound. It's on uh, a lot of normal, normal forks. However, I will be taking uh, this component off and running a hydraulic um, lockout off the handlebars. Uh, RockShock, I know they do uh, several variations to a lockout, but I'll be using the X-Lock. Uh, it's the hydraulic lockout, and it, again, I've used it countless times, and it's flawless. Um, so that's what will be going on uh, going on here. And then uh, my wheels haven't arrived um, because they're currently being built in uh, New York and America, and uh, I'd like to thank Stan's, uh, Stan's No Tubes for that. They're providing the team with uh, some beautiful uh, wheel sets. I'll be running the uh, the stands uh, no tubes podium with their um, with their tie uh, hubs. So yeah, it should be uh, should be nice once it's uh, fully finished. But yeah, the bike is you can see where well, it's just absolutely nothing. It's like feather light. Um, if I was to compare it to some hardtail XC race bikes, I've raced. Um, over the years, this is uh, on par with the uh, the Scott scale, um, and uh, even even to like the White Works bikes uh, I've raced. But yeah, a fantastic, fantastic bike, um, and highly recommend uh, anybody buy one. So yeah, just uh, just watch out for us um, next season at, at the races, and if you need to come over and have a chat and there's something you want to discuss or something you want to look at on the bike or something I can answer any questions you know feel free to come and uh, come and approach me and uh, if you want to go on it give me a shout have a blast around the lap okay so uh, yeah all the best for uh, 2012 and uh, 
good luck with your racing. Thanks.